1938, the third FIFA World Cup took place in France. In those days, it was a straight knockout. 15 teams took part, and in the final, Italy retained their title, defeating Hungary 4-2. The Hungarians' journey to the final had started with a game against the first Asian side to play in a World Cup, the Dutch East Indies. In the early 20th century, the country now known as Indonesia was under Dutch colonial rule. It was around that time that football clubs began to become established in most major cities. But in 1924, the Dutch East Indies Federation joined FIFA. A few years later, a rival association, the PSSI, was also set up to organise and promote native football, away from Dutch influence. The team chosen to go to the World Cup in France under the direction of the Dutch Federation was, however, made up of a mixture of players of different ethnic backgrounds. Johannes Patawar is the son of Isaac Patawar, one of those players selected. We need to remember that this was during an era of Dutch occupation, and the Dutch would rather have selected only their own players for the team. But it turned out that there were so many good native Indonesian footballers that some of them were selected ahead of those Dutch players in Indonesia. Of course, the Dutch preferred to fill the team with Dutch players, but some native Indonesians were better than them. They were so good that eventually they had to be chosen as well. Suma Hadi Masis is one of Indonesia's leading football journalists, having written about the sport for more than 40 years. For him, the friction between the Dutch and Indonesian associations was a major point of conflict. Among the native Indonesian players at that time, there was remarkable enthusiasm to use football as a means to encourage the movement for freedom from the Dutch. They wanted to be independent. So they used football as part of that drive for independence. Therefore, when the Dutch East Indies Federation invited players from PSSI clubs to take part in their selection matches for the 1938 World Cup, some of them refused to participate. The squad travelled to France by boat, an arduous journey of several weeks. For many, it was a first trip overseas and the first time they'd competed in international competition. It's said that they enjoyed the voyage. They were also training and devising strategies of how to play in the 1938 World Cup. They had fun at sea, but they also trained and they had practice matches. They did all kinds of things that were necessary to prepare themselves for the matches that they were going to play when they got to France. In the end, they played just a single game in the World Cup against the Hungarians. The final score, a 6-0 defeat. His patriotism was exceptional. Even under occupation, he was fiercely patriotic. We lost 6-0 to Hungary. But he always said, no matter what happened, I was defending Indonesia. He played with desire. And my father did actually score one goal in the match, but it was disallowed. Indonesia has never subsequently returned to the World Cup stage, and their appearance in 1938 remains hugely significant. Up until this year, 2014, Indonesia has never again qualified for the World Cup. It's a shame. It's the same case as football at the Olympics. We only qualified once for the Olympics, and it has never happened again. These are two things that we regret a great deal in Indonesian football. Today, I think Indonesia has very good young talents, but we must remember that it was the Dutch East Indies that managed to take us to the World Cup.